Dr. Horowitz, I, I want to go back to what you were saying, but but first, can you answer the question? You've been studying this, uh, you know, as a, a doctor and as somebody who stu studied how pandemics spread. If you are saying leave the border open with Mexico, that and this is really so deadly, but leave the border open, but then we're going to lock down the U.S. cities. This is obvious that this is to train the American people how to be uh, in lockdown Nazi Germany, isn't it? Yes, it is. And as I've mentioned before, this could also be a covert operation to actually seed the population. Because now the news is coming out that the virus is not particularly... Uh, you know, deadly. It's really relatively mild, and that's exactly what the recombinant was that the group at uh, the World Health Organization, the the organization that uh, James Robertson, as well as the Novavax publications, were talking about. You know, again, the most incriminating issue that I think has not been covered is the decision that was made already to loose these kinds of laboratory creations that would uh, seed the population in advance of pandemics. And so it could be, like you've been saying, a covert operation in that regard. Okay, Dr. Horowitz, explain to people, uh, can you read to them from that uh, British uh, uh, Academy, that UN document that you've sent me, that it's officially off their site, where they're talking about priming the public, getting them ready. It's it's uh, very very chilling. What does that mean? Well, it means that essentially that besides doing all the business and of bio preparedness and protection of the world's population, the most advanced uh, experts they call them in the field of infectious disease have already decided that they would loose viruses that they would produce in their labs that would go out and infect the population in advance of a, you know, in advance of the big one, in advance of the real, like Spanish flu 1918, that they would do that allegedly in defense of the population and allegedly for bio preparedness and allegedly because it's doing exactly what this current epidemic is doing or this pandemic is doing that is it's a mild exposure to a potentially lethal pathogen and they have decided behind closed doors in bed with the drug industrialists that they're going to do this to unwitting populations without having any informed consent so with, this is really you're saying could be a mass inoculation uh, or at least that's their excuse to do this they claim that they've weakened the pathogen uh, to then release it into the public to protect us down the road from a real bird flu. That's exactly. That's my number one best call based on all the evidence. And on top of that, you have to understand the PSYOPs already administered has made billions and billions of dollars and further advanced the police state, the fascism, and the uh, application of the Model State Emergency Health Powers Act that allows for the incarceration of populations, putting them into these quarantine, virtually concentration camps, injecting, infecting, and intoxicating, drugging them with whatever the public health professionals in their actual a Manchurian candidate hypnotic trance state that is induced by standard cult indoctrination methods in medical education, continuing medical education, and this whole pseudoscientific process of literally creating brainwashed mind control slaves of the military medical petrochemical pharmaceutical cartel. That's what's going on, Alex. All right. Up on screen, we have the Royal Society, the Academy of Medical uh, sciences and its summary of oral evidence dr john wood and dr james robertson national institute for biological standards and controls nibsc and on the uh, last page it says use of live viruses scroll down to the bottom of the document for me gentlemen thank you for prison planet tv viewers dr wood and robertson were asked their opinion of priming the population for a pandemic using live vaccines and if they consider it to be a good idea. However, the timing is critical. If live H5N1 vaccines are used now, it will be considered too dangerous. But if a pandemic is imminent, the risk may be justified. A stockpile of live vaccine with the cleavage site removed could be used as a to prime the population in advance of the pandemic, reaching the U.K. even without an exact match in a virus strain. Now, what does that mean? I mean, they love to kind of read between the lines there or state stuff 
and the obvious, but what does it mean prime the population with a live virus? Well, th this is exactly, notice you said the cleavage site or some aspect of the virus removed, and what may be happening is that this outbreak, because of the advance, you have to understand biological, biodefense, biomilitary operations are 10 years more advanced than what is commercial, uh, you know, commercialization and standard uh, consumption in the marketplace. So these guys, if they have been actually publishing this, the covert science labs are 10 years at least, maybe 15 ahead, which means that what you're describing in that document is precisely what's being described of this virus, of this pathogen they're claiming is the cause of this pandemic. It is not quite human. It's got some human parts. It's got some avian parts, apparently. It's got, uh, you know, or, or swine parts. And it has cross-reaction when you understand and you read the science that has been published by CDC and Novavax. You, you understand that they have cross-reactiveness. That, in other words, if you expose a population to a mutated virus, weaken it, but just enough to cause immunity, and then add enough of the different strains, such as the swine flu, the avian flu, the Spanish flu, put it all together, and then you expose the population to that, even prime the population is what they're talking about, by some form of method of vaccination. Now, can you imagine what the, what the outrage of the public would be if they were told that they're not a, now must go get vaccinated against a pandemic that hasn't happened yet? Well, speaking they, of priming, they are now openly on every major publication and TV saying you may have to take a shot, even if you're not sick, and we're going to lock your towns and cities, we're going to have the feds come out with the police and do this, while the border's wide open. I well, mean, so, so they're really trying to set the, I mean, whether they're moving this time or not, they're now introducing the idea. Think about it. They may already have done it. And what they're simply doing now is a psychological operation that you consistently have always been accurate about telling the public about. Amazing. Uh, so uh, where do you see this going from here? Well, I, I praise the Creator for the fact that this thing is not as severe as we thought it might be. I, I praise the Creator for the fact that we may uh, have some time left to, to reverse the fascism and the manipulation and toxication of the population through the decimation, uh, through, through the dissemination of truth. Basically, what we need to do is get the truth, such as those documents that you've just, thank you so much, Alex, for putting that document up on the air. Because this is the kind of inside research and discussions and backroom deals that we, the public, need to expose in order to come to some level of intelligent decision-making. Because we have got to, if, we, if this has got to be about sovereignty, spirituality, and informed consent, we have got to give our consent. I mean, there's a separation of church and state. This is the big battle right now, as far as I can see, is this whole attack on Christianity, attack on spirituality, that we now, the gods of science and medicine, dictate to you what is going to be injected, infected, and intoxicated in your Holy Spirit-filled temple. I am telling you, I am absolutely certain to be here to the very end. This is an issue that shall never go away. We shall always stand for our spiritual religious freedom. I don't care what CNN says about me. I don't, say, I don't care what Fox News has to say. Everyone who considers them either a Christian, Jew, or Muslim has a sovereign spirit right to resist vaccination. Dr. Horowitz, stay there, absolutely. And, and I want to bring up the new, the new vaccines they admit they have that, quote, cure you of drug abuse, they admit it literally eats brain cells and eats the receptor sites, and the more advanced vaccines they give you that literally re-engineer the brain to make you a zombie.